G'day guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. In this one, I'm gonna fit one of DC3D Design's brand new bulletproof handbrake hole covers. Here's what we are installing today. The brand new handbrake hole cover, which is damn near bulletproof, thanks to these clips instead of the double-sided tape. So this one's beautifully finished in carbon fiber. I think I'll be installing this one personally today. But if you wanted more of an OEM look, we've got one that's finished with a, an OEM-like textured plastic as well. So that'll fit in nicely and it'll make it look like it was always meant to be there. I've also been sent one of these awesome key rings. Again, carbon fibre. This one's for the ST180 or the Mark 7, but they do also do it for the Mark 6 ST also. Got a nicely designed business card there, and that's a one-to-one -one scale for that, which is pretty cool. And you actually have a code on here as well. That is how you're going to be able to access the instructions. So when I do the install today, I am going to follow those instructions um, and show you how to do it. So obviously the handbrake hole cover is going to fit in here, but to get in from underneath is going to be a little bit of a mission because we need to remove this whole center console, which involves a couple of screws here and down the side. So we actually have to start all the way up here at this trim and then remove down. And then we can get to the screws at the back down here, which I'll show you later. And then that console can lift out and then we can get to it from underneath so that the clips can do their job from underneath. First thing you want to do is access the instructions. So get your camera up on your phone, scan the code, click the link, and the instructions will load. There you go. So that's your step-by-step -step instructions on how to install these new bulletproof handbrake hole covers. Step one is to remove this trim piece. And the easiest way I found to do that was to get two trim tools. Make sure that you've got the right tools for the job. I put one in here and flick this out, one in here, and then I actually moved them into the middle and pried them down. It took a little bit of force and I'll show you why. Then you've got to pull out and lift up to get it through. But there's actually a metal clip here that clips around this. Um, and that takes a little bit of force just in there. So that's step one. Just a reminder, if you have a little light or any switches or anything in this panel, you just need to make sure that you'll connect that electrical connection from the back. And the next step, you wanna take off your gear knob and also remove this tool uh, this trim here so I'll skip through to that after you twist your gear knob off or if you've got an aftermarket gear knob however you remove it you want to get another trim tool in under this plastic trim and you just want to work your way around and make sure that you can pop that out and then that whole thing will just lift off Okay, so a bit of a success. I managed to get in there, pop it out, pop it out, and now I'm down to about here. So we're going to do the same on this side. I'm going to pop this side out, and then get in under here, and then work our way down. Okay, so once you've managed to pop this off as best you can, you work your way around the front, and then this will simply lift out however if you've got buttons here or in the UK cars you might have buttons here just remember to move those electrical connections and then you can remove this completely as you can see with this removed now you've got all of these metal clips that you need to be removing and that's when you're working your trim tool down the side you want to pull it out towards you so that this unit comes that way towards you um, also, if you've got buttons here and in here, you're going to need to remove 
those electrical connections which is just a very simple push down and pull. Now we've just got this trim around here. This is going to expose the first pair of screws that we need to unscrew and this literally just pulls up and out. Again it's got these metal clips but as you can see they just pull up. And now we've got these two screws here so we can start to remove the center console. With your first two bolts exposed, they're a T30 Torx bit. They shouldn't take too much to crack, being just yeah, being just an interior piece. And we will we'll remove both of those. Yeah, they didn't take much at all. And then once they're out, we'll move on to the next step. With those two bolts removed, you're actually going to come down. Now there's one on each side, and you've got a Phillips head just in there you need to remove that I was lucky sometimes these just spin but that's nicely come out beautiful and then I believe you can then just remove the whole panel this is the panel we just removed. On the end closest to the pedals, you really only got that clip with the Phillips head. And then closer to the actual center console and the gear shift, you've got these three clips here that just pull towards the driver's seat or towards the passenger seat on the passenger side and then the panel will come out nicely. Naturally, talking about that little clip with the Phillips head, Naturally I jinxed myself and on the other side it was a pain to get out, but that's alright. Once you've got these side panels off, these are the next bolts. Again they're a T30. And they take a little bit more effort. They do take a little bit more effort. These ones have got a washer on them and they're a different bolt to the ones that you've used just above them. So make sure that they go back in the right spot. Moving into the back now. Slide your seats completely forward as far as they'll go and that will expose these T30 bolts as one on both sides. So again it's just as easy as undoing them. Moment of truth, with everything undone now, this should just lift out. Just be very careful when you do because you're still going to have your 12 volt. I've got like an AUX jack and a USB still plugged in here so do it gently just so you can get in behind and undo those connections then you can lift the whole center console out I just thought I'd capture this a little bit better you've actually got an electrical connection here just in the side and then I've got three just down in there okay so this USB one was a bit of a pain because it's got the kind of clip where you actually have to lift up the plastic and pull it out but it's actually top and bottom so to get it from both sides with not much space it was just much easier to push this out which has got four clips here top bottom and each side that you need to squeeze in and just manipulate it until you can get it out so now that that's out I'm going to disconnect this and lift out the console Okay, the console is out. I've just given it a quick wipe down with some interior cleaner. Now I've dummy fitted the textured OEM style one. And as you can see, it fits in really nicely. And with the clips in, that will not be pushed through. And I'll insert a clip right now to show you why. Next step, you want to turn it upside down. This is where your handbrake hole cover is going to go. And you want to remove the two side clips, but keep the rear one in. This is to make sure that you get best fitments um, evenly side by side. So, so I don't mess it up, I'm going to fit this off camera and just show you what I've done. 
so there's it fitted with just the rear one in now get yourself a decently chunky trim tool because this panel here it actually will sit out a bit so you need to jam it closed so that you can fit this other one down in there and I did the same again on this side just to get a bit of leverage just to pull that nice and close in together um, and that's all three fitted up I'll show you just how strong it is I've got stuff in there as well so that's just holding it up with the handbrake hole filler that is not going anywhere and that is what it's going to look like I will show you what it's like after I reinstall it all but that is such a great fit such a quality part well 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 look what I found in here this is my original one this one was my fault that it fell down because I didn't tell the detailer that it was just stuck on so that's my fault but now is time to retrieve anything that you or previous owners may have dropped down there okay so loosely refit your center console reconnect your electrical plugs which for me was nice and easy because I did this first and you had the gray one around the back here make sure that you plug that back in and then you can go around you've got your two bolts down here either side you've got your two bolts here and here and you'll when you put your side panel back on before you do that you've got your bolts down here too with all six of your bolts back in it's just a matter of clipping your trim pieces back in now you can clearly see just where these all go and that one will go up in there so you just clip them in make sure that it's nicely lined up around here and then you can move on to your center console starting to look like an interior again these clips you just literally line it up and push it down and they will all click back in just make sure that they click in and then your nice trim bits hopefully you've done what you did at the start but backwards and you're up to this part that I'm up to now you can see the clips on this they're pretty self-explanatory don't forget to plug in any connectors that you may need to here and then it'll literally you line it up and you'll slide it in here okay, full disclosure this clip is a bit of a pain because it's a little plastic piece that clips inside it um, and obviously the metal's harder than the plastic so I've actually bent it out that far in hope that I can push the plastic past it easily and then put a bit of force on the trim piece to bend that back in place and hold it steady I'll let you know how I go you little ripper that worked a treat you can see that that's held in place there now that's not coming out so you can just push either side and there you have it with everything back in place we've put the gear shift gator and the gear knob back on this is how good it looks now and no matter where you put your handbrake there's absolutely no gap so nothing is going to fall down there you can push on that all you like that's a permanent feature of the car now and just how good it looks in that carbon fiber finish is stunning I don't know what I'll do with the other one now all right job done um, to say that I'm stoked with those results is an understatement because the way that that fits and looks is just spot on and it no matter which one you get whether it's the carbon fiber or the textured um, plastic you're really gonna like how it fits it's not going anywhere thank you very much DC3D design for sending me two of these and also these awesome little key rings that you can also get in the New Look website also. Links down below. Cheers for watching. I hope that it was helpful and we'll catch you on the next one.